And these organisers at the rallies now, they've got to turn their focus towards this because I was speaking to someone else and they've contacted these organisers. They won't talk about it. They, they, and some of them know about it. They won't talk about it. And I can understand they're leading the people along to a certain point, trying to wake them up. But now's the time. No, now is the time. Now yeah. is the time. Yeah. And, you know, especially with, like, this bill that's going to pass in Victoria, it needs to be spoken about this weekend. It needs this to be week, It does, actually. And, I mean, it's just, it's just the biggest Achilles because why is there so much secrecy? Why are there suppression orders? Why is there so much injustice in the country? And who are these people who, are, who have so much power? Yeah. Who are they? They're all satanic ritual abusers if not they've been being blackmailed yeah and 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 if not a lot of them a lot of them know about it um, a whole lot of symbolism but that basically mm. they are the achilles for shutting this down when it gets into the consciousness because because the education on the backs and everything is pretty good now like yeah. a lot of people are starting to you know but this is the next one yeah. You know, we don't need to go to where galactic. We don't need to go to nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, let's... dimensional or anything. And that's like um, when I started making videos last year, I was like, I'm, I, I'm just putting out stuff about um, Satanism and satanic ritual. That's like, because I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is where it leads. This is, you've you got to know the glue that holds this system together. This is, this is what it is. Mm. And, um, you know, people are going to be shocked. It's going, and like, if you look at like what's happening now with this Durham probe, it's going to go to Clinton. They're not going to take Clinton down for child trafficking in Haiti and the Clinton. For, they're not going to do that for. It's going to be, it's going to be this sort of stuff. You know, just showing the crap. Yeah. But the, the other one about Clinton, I don't. How, you know, how's she still around even for this? This got leaked out in 2016 when she was running. Do you remember this? When she was a lawyer in Arkansas. And she defended a guy who raped a 12-year-old girl and got the guy got off and there's audio of her. Now, this is the other thing too. They've been tapping these people forever. There's yeah. or, this is back in the 80s and there's audio of her laughing about getting her defendant off because she knew that he raped the girl. That's Hillary Clinton. Oh, absolutely. And, and the, you, you can look this up on YouTube. It's, it's public what? knowledge. It's public knowledge. Uh, I think I heard more that, yeah, that was, it, was, it, was, it was a fascinating case. It was a really interesting case. He was this guy who was accused of raping a 12 year old. He was the daughter of the family he was living with in Springfield. He was on the side of the track in Springfield. And uh, the guy was from Green Forest. He was famous to have a farm. He was one of these you know, ruthless folks who wasn't going to make a living on the land and he was kind of around. He ended up in Springdale looking for another place to live. Of course, he claimed that he did all this stuff. He took a lot of detective tests. I had a polygraph, which he passed, which forever destroyed my faith in polygraphs. <laughs> <laughs> to women, there's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. So you can say any way you want to say it, but Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously, four of them here tonight. One of the women, who is a wonderful woman, at 12 years old, was raped at 12. Her client, she represented, got him off and she's seen laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Kathy Shelton, that young woman, is here with us tonight. Fiona Barnett named Rosalind Croucher as the woman that, that chopped off these heads of these in this ritual in Bathurst. And she, oh. she's the head of the Australian Human Rights Commission. Ah, absolutely. <laughs> That's absolutely. Go read Rainer's testimony. Now, I fucking... I want this to be read out, or parts of this read out, or satanic ritual abuse to be covered in the protest at some point. Now, people are organising the protest. This is going to be covered at some point. It's coming out, regardless, whether you want to fucking talk about it or not. Whether you got your own, you know, there's obviously, like, political groups and politicians involved in speaking at these events. I don't want to fucking hear from any politician getting up there, where it's Limbrick or whoever. I don't want to fucking hear about it until they bring up this issue and it's like you know they're, they're, they're towing the line to 
certain extent. But look, now's the fucking time. There's been a big shift lately. You know, if survivors want to speak out, now's your, now's your time. This is like, this is your moment now. And same Grace Tane, the strain of the year. Now's your fucking time. Now's your fucking time. You can become an advocate for releasing these suppression orders and opening up all these historic child sex abuse cases in Victoria as well that were pushed away by this fucking fake uh, investigation with the ombudsman and the fucking child protection division in Victoria that's covering up pedophilia, as well as even the education department in Victoria. It's an absolute cesspit. And um, so, fuck, people like Grace Tame or other people in the public eye Start speaking out about this. This is where it's like, this is where it's going. It's going to have to go there. If you want freedom, you want sovereignty, we have to tackle these issues. So, 